b r e a d of t o s a n of Students Across England, Well and Northern Ireland are today finding out that they will result as research show a drop in interest in going to university. Figure show UK application decrease from 553,000 in 2016 to just short of 530,000 DTA 4% drop. The number of EU students planning to study at a UK university or college has also fallen by 5%. The dip is being attributed to a drop in the number of 1,819 year old in the country and 10 to popular bursary team. However, other statistics point to a wider issue. The Stone Trust recently released figures suggesting that the proportion of young people who think they are likely to go into higher education when they are old enough has fallen to the lowest level since 2009. It comes as another option for sick form or college refer has seen a large uptick in interest apprenticeship. The number of starters on apprenticeship team has risen steadily from 175,000 in 2006 to more than 500,000 in 2016. A total of 2.4 new apprenticeship started between 2011 and 2415, and the government appears on target to reach the goal of 3 million new teams by 2020. Only Hollingworth is one level student waiting for her result but already accept on to an apprenticeship. I've always had a part-time job and that just sort of sweet me more rather than going to college 247. Friday a week, she told Sky News, where I can get the same qualification and work without the deputy. It just seemed silly not to use that option. Universities and employers agree that it is not about one area winning and the other losing. As both had such offer different life choice. However, one university boss admit the market has become far more competitive. Universities are responding to that in the way they market and brand themselves. Royal Holloway University Chief Operating Officer David Atan said they are trying to improve the quality of their physical estate by making major investment in facilities.